Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Tuesday afternoon, August 13th. We're looking at Window Traders market profile of the ES and the NQ. So, um, what an impressive day. So here's a question we have to ask ourselves. Is this still short covering? I mean, again, the volume's not good. It's better than uh, the last two days, but we're going to be doing in the low 50s after the... Um, Close, uh, you know, 8 o'clock comes to spy. But we go out with a... we. The interesting thing in ES, we attempted to go trend up multiple times today, but it failed. However, we held our gap. Poor low. What a, These poor lows are amazing. Off that poor low, that's 0150. We rallied 60 handles. That's $6. So we go out with a poor low, an afternoon pullback in I, and a price probe. And Q goes out with the gap. Two sets of single prints, double distribution day, a pullback in I, and a price probe. They took back one set of single prints from uh, August 1st, got into a second. ES finally filled the gap, as did SPY. Righty, late in the day, comes out of balance on the daily to the upside. It takes out the balance high. They go out with an afternoon pullback in I and a price probe. Now, we have PPI tomorrow. So, <clears throat> pretty interesting uh, how aggressive the buyers were. Yeah. I mean, we had great ranges again. I mean, our ranges, we can't complain about the ranges at all. Um, basically... I think that's a $6 range exactly for SPY. Let me see. Yep. Wow, that's amazing. Exactly a $6 range for SPY. So we have a $6 range. NQ's range was good. NQ's range was over 7 I believe. Um, yep, a little bit over 7 So our ranges are good. The volume's not good. But again, I'd rather have range over volume. The bigger question we have to ask ourselves, are we? if this is just short covering, is it finally going to bring a new buy-in? Or not? I'm a little surprised we pushed up as much as we did. I thought the goal for ES today was to fill the gap. Now, they didn't hold trend, and I didn't think they would, but they did go higher. NQ, on the other hand, not only filled the gap, but got into single prints from the first. So, very impressive. Had a good day, didn't do much in the afternoon, but um, absolutely had a good day trading in A period. We didn't know we weren't that close to the overnight high initially. If I could find it here, here it is. I didn't take the short, <clears throat> it did open and go up a little, didn't take it. What I did do was take the long and a period in NQ to get the overnight high and fill the gap. Then in ES, I also took longs in A. <clears throat> Because they was having better ebb and flow and they had targets to get at that point. I wasn't sure how much NQ wanted to go. So I had a very nice A period in both NQ and ES. Then in B period, NQ, I took the long right on the turnover. Took the long round the turnover, expecting it to get a push up. And it did. So I made on that. C period. I took the long uh, to get. Actually, wait. I missed. Wait a second. I'm, I'm reading my trade. I did not get the... Oh, yes, I did. I take that back. I got long uh, twice in C uh, and Q. Once because uh, on a pullback, we're one time framing up. Actually, we were not one time frame. Oh, yes, we were. We were one time framing up initially. Then we came down and stopped. And then when we came back up, I got long again to pop the uh, IB high. Took a long and NQ and D period on the turnover because the market was strong and holding trend. Then in EF, uh, ES, in F period, I got long to go get the gap fill. I didn't hold it till we filled it, but it worked out nicely. And then in I period, when the market looked like we might have another quick liquidation break, but it stopped nicely, and I got long in I for the afternoon pullback low. And that was it. After that, 
Um, I just watched. I had a good day. Very, uh, very happy uh, how it turned out and how we read it. I am a little surprised as they keep pushing high here. It's almost like they know the CPI number. We don't care about it. I would have thought, now, short covering could last for days. There's no doubt about it. But we're one time framing up six days in a row here for ES and four days in NQ. You would have thought most of the shorts from that Thursday, Friday, Monday sell-off are out. But maybe not. So we'll see what happens comes tomorrow. Destination, 61 and a quarter is today's high. Price probe is 55.75. 33 and a quarter is our pullback. Today's poor low is 0150 and filling the gap at 96.75. In SPY, today's high is 542.28. 541.68 is our pullback. Not pullback. Price probe, sorry. The pullback is 539.48. And then today's low is 536.28. And filling the gap at 535.74. In fact, I have to fix that because it's a little bit off that. And then let's look at the chart. <clears throat> so we do, we're not even halfway through the month yet. So like we said, we're still forming a balance. But this is an impressive push off the uh, monthly low so far. So if the bulls do get their act together and keep going higher, it's a pretty nice push off of that. But for now, we're in balance still. The weekly in balance. This week is just forming the balance. I don't care if we take out the all-time high this week. It would still be balanced, okay? But the buy is getting maybe more aggressive as we get away from this low from last week with the beautiful excess we left. And then the daily. Six days in a row. Now we got decent distance away from yesterday's high. So we'll see if we are going to bring in new buyers. We're above the 20, just below the 50. We took back that Monday. We took back that Friday. We're trying to get back inside that Thursday, August 1st, to take back that whole trend day also. Hope you had a good day trading. <clears throat> Come check us out, camelbacktrading.org. Many price points that should make you all happy. Thank you for liking and subscribing to this channel. You enjoy your evening. And we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.